Damn, my brows are on a million. Hi, how are you? I miss you. Oh, I don't think it's like always happening with my like sideways legs. Yes! Cute. Of course, this would be the cute. I miss y'all too. What a treat. I'm so excited to be here. Hi. Negro effect. It was that you, bitch. Was that you on YouTube? I was like, look, let me get my coins up because I ain't post no videos this month, bitch. And honestly, I know that my fucking Google money, my Google check, that shit about to be low. So I was like, let me post this little messy mess of uh, Miss uh, from Kim Kardashian. Because I feel like every day this bitch trying to get blacker and blacker. Trying to just, you know, turn herself more for ass into some black ass shit. And it's just not working, bitch. Because honestly, can I tell y'all the first time I realized that the bitch is talking about Soul Food Saturdays. Nigga, everybody know we do Soul Food on Sunday. Who the fuck just do Soul Food on Saturday, bitch? Oh, random ass, extra random bitch. Yeah, no, I'm not getting no big Google check, bitch. I'm getting a motherfucking little ass Google check. But it's still... A check nonetheless, you know. But exact fuck you, I'm great. Yes, bitch, it be the same meal. It be the same struggle macaroni. It be the same struggle greens. And it be some chicken. Hold on, I have a question. I have a question. If we're calling it fried chicken, that means that the chicken must be coated with something to be fried, right? That's what I thought. But every time I see her chicken, I'm seeing the meat exposed i'm never seeing any motherfucking skin so i'm just wondering what the fuck she's doing with the chicken how she massaging it you know how white people talk about some massaged greens like i feel like she just be massaging it with a little bit of seasoning i don't think she got it like you know my mama had like a fucking bag and she was shaking the shit it wasn't no shaking bake it was just a little bit of flour a little bit of some other shit Ra, you know what i mean but i just don't know what she's doing there's no batter on her chicken, bitch. I really don't like this angle because it's not showing all my hair. And it's irking me. I feel like if I if you can't see all the hair, what's the point of it? You know what I mean? If you can only see 15% of the yakki, there's no point. But anyways, I'm about to give myself a sickening bun. Give me give me one second. Let, let me get to my sickening bun before I go into roasts. I know. I You know, I just put my brows on before I came to see y'all. So they're looking brand new for a reason. Like, this was planned. <sighs> I really think she do just be dropping the chicken in the, gr in the grease, bitch. I don't think she cares. Bitch, I was laughing like shit when I saw Taylor getting dragged. I was laughing like shit. I was like, Taylor. Taylor. What's going on, Taylor? Because you know what? Honestly, what kind of name is Taylor? first but it's like Taylor what you do I know Selena Selena out here just saying all types of things and I feel bad for Selena little Capricorn ass because I know she's trying to be on some full respectability you know trying to seem like she got her life right after everybody found out she was doing cocaine but mama I don't know it's not in the cards like if I was Selena I would really just go to an island Really, I will go to the island, you know what I mean, get my tan on, eat some snacks, you know. I would really relax my puss. That's what I would do, but I'm not that bitch, so I'm over here. So, I'm going to move on, you know what I mean. I really don't have nothing to say about Selena. Girl, yeah, Selena is out here just doing all types of things, bitch. Look into the information. The internet is not free. But there's a, lot, there's a lot of sites out there that do not charge you for information. That's a blessing. So, anyways, child, everybody does drugs. Most people do drugs. Some people, they drugs is legal. Some people, they drugs is not. So, and some people be hiding. <laughs> Please. There's no, there's nowhere to hide if you're famous. 
honestly, like, some people sing about them doing coke. Like, when you a pop singer, you can't just falsetto. I'm about to smoke a blunt with a little bit of coke inside. You know what I mean? A bitch can't sing that out loud on a fucking album. That's not what a bitch is going to tell you. Working for Disney. There's not going to be a little song about it. You know what I mean? But a nigga's like, oh, got that white girl. Got my crack pipe. It's like, okay. Bland. <laughs> but real talk, there's no way to like get, like, you know, there's no fucking white girl groove to cocaine. But trust and believe, these white folks be doing cocaine, bitch. A lot of them, bitch. A lot of them, bitch. <laughs> Just call me like, thank you. You are so sweet. I'm loving your baby hairs, bitch. I had to turn to the right to get that Abby, bitch. But you're giving me life. Exactly. Gucci Go and Lana is out here on crack. You know what I mean? Lana Del Rey is on crack, okay? So, as far as I'm concerned, you know what I mean? And yeah, and Lana is singing about it. Lana is like the one exception. But the thing is, though, the bitch got a voice that only people on heroin will really want to hear. And young ass sad girls who are also sad that their niggas left them. You know what I mean? Or, or sad that a nigga don't want to, I don't know, split a fucking fish sandwich at Coney Island. I don't fucking know. But I just feel like Lana Del Rey's music, it just sounds sad. It sounds like the music of a ghost of a heroin addict. So I don't know why people are out here just surprised. It's like you can hear it in Lana's voice, you know, when she's singing like, I don't know what's next. Heroin. You know what I mean? Come on. <clears throat> Anyways, side motherfucking bar. I don't have a goddamn letter. So, burb. Do it the old way, bitch. I'm back, bitch. I'm back. But look, let's let's get it popping, then. I'm about to play the little Kim Kardashian uh mixtape that she just put out, trying to expose people. But sidebar, before I play this shit, <laughs> I know you don't give a fuck. <laughs> Bitch, my stove used to be electric. Fucking around with y'all, I'm gonna have to relight it. It's not a real mixtape, baby. I'm talking about these Snapchats from the internet. Guys, just you. As a person and as a friend, I want things that make me, you feel good. I don't want to do rap that makes people feel I don't want to do rap that makes people feel bad. That's interesting. That's interesting, Kanye. And what a very weird, weird, weird way of talking. Yeah, I mean, what, you don't want to have a life better. It's always very touchy either way. Here's the and shit that got me fucked up, though. Taylor Swift, though. Why she sound fake though? She sound facetious as fuck. She don't even sound like she really want to say yes. Like it sounds like she's not even being serious. Like when she's explaining like, oh yeah, yeah. It seemed fake. Oh yeah, I, I just have a responsibility to you as a friend, you know. And uh, I mean, thanks for, I mean, thanks for being like so cool. I have five. I have five kids. Ivanka has three kids. You know, watching him play with them. I mean, you really see another side of Donald Trump. I mean, there is the image of the business guy. This? What the fuck is they trying to play for me over here? I don't even fucking care about Donald Trump. Mm mm. Mm mm. Instagram, I 
relationships are more important than punchlines, you know? Here's my thing. Did Kanye really think, or rather did, did Taylor Swift really think that Kanye didn't know who the fuck she was? I knew she was a white singing bitch. What else is there to know? What else she got going on? Papa, that she just sounded so thirsty talking to him on the phone. That shit made me fucking sick. I was like, but even him though, he sounded fake too. Like I don't know. I just feel like this exposed both of them, and it exposed Kimba. I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna call her Kimba. All right, cause she's trying to be black, but she not. So you Kimba bitch. So anyways. Kimba is out here recording combos. Recording combos that has nothing to do with her. Now, somebody, you know how the weed be coming out sometimes. Now, somebody gonna say, well, it's her husband, so it's her business. I don't know if it's illegal to record somebody. I feel like it's not illegal unless they plotting on you. Like, if you record somebody plotting on you, I think, like, the courts will forgive that shit because you, like, scruff McGruff. You figured out your own crime. Um, but I think if you recording people just to be, like, on Snapchat... And honestly, they all look like birds. Like, why? where is Kim? Kim just holding the phone. Kanye just laying on a couch. Here's my thing. I don't even think... When, when Taylor responded to the bullshit, I really don't feel like... I don't think this was news, y'all. Like, sidebar, I am not checking for the Kanye album. That's what I wanted to say before I even played this shit. I wanted to be like, the Kanye album was not that lit to me. And I also wanted to say that I don't think anybody really cared about the famous video like that. And I really do think that this was another stunt. The video was a stunt, and this is a stunt. Exactly. It was so lackluster. And I feel like they're kind of reaching. They're kind of reaching for, like, they're kind of reaching for some shine. And the shit that got me fucked up, Selena basically got popped off on because Selena was acting stank and stupid about Black Lives Matter. Kanye is the stunt queen, but I have to say this. I really feel like this was like a couple's plan, and I feel like that's why it was so whack. And I feel like the album was a couple's plan. That The video was a couple's plan. I don't think they work together as a unit. Like, I'm looking at Kim's wardrobe, but I'm like, Kim, why are you out here looking like a mannequin? Look at her most recent pictures. That bitch is, like, her whole shape, her whole vibe is giving me mannequin tease. She's giving me mannequin wants to be a human. Um, a human playing a mannequin look, trying to look like a human. Bitch. Inception. She hosted a party. And I saw the pictures and I was like, bitch, why? The sweater she was wearing literally looks like the fabric you see on a mannequin, bitch. On a dress form. I was like, why would you wear a sweater that looks just like the fabric on a dress form when your body looks built? Is it a drag? I feel like I'm talking facts. The sky is blue. The grass is green. And Kim Kardashian looks like a goddamn mannequin. And I don't know what the fuck is going on. The whole family is melting. Chris is the one that looks the best. Plot twist! 
M. Night Shyamalan. I'm just not sure what the fuck is going on. I hate to say this, and I know someone's going to get mad, but I feel like they're all, like, all the Kardashians are praying to black dicks right now. And I think that's why Courtney trying to talk to Corey. Because she's like, there is life and elixir coming from that dick. Because that nigga is low key. Like, Corey Gamble, not that famous, but he is giving life to Chris. And I think Courtney jealous because all Scott did was suck life from her. Like, Scott never helped her. Scott never elevated her. I think she thought that whiteness, I think she thought when her parents got sick, when his parents got sick, when Scott's parents was getting sick, I think she thought he was going to get some coin. But I feel like the T was, later in life, Scott's mama, she was one of those white bitches who couldn't help herself with shopping, but she was, like, trying to think that it was ethical because she was going to the thrift shop. She was getting good deals. You know, there'd be hoes like that. They'd be, like, buying a bunch of dollar shit. Like, I'm frugal. It's like, no, you just bought a bunch of broke-ass, chemical-laden bullshit, and that's okay. That's what you like, sis. All right. But his mama was a hoarder, and I think she hoarded the entire savings. Like, I think the whole account got drained on some knickknacks, and that's why the mom did, that's why Courtney didn't fuck with the mom at the end of her life, because she was just looking around the house like, all right, well, it's chipmunks taxidermied in this bitch. You don't hunt, he don't hunt. Where'd you buy him? It's not cheap. Think about it. To buy a motherfucking chipmunk right now probably cost you a couple hundred dollars. Just when niggas catching the chipmunk. So, imagine someone actually stuffing it with some sort of feather, some sort of concoction to keep it hard, fresh looking, vitalic, and then put it on a fucking amount and put it in your house. That's ridiculous. 3000 thank you, Brit Brat. There's niggas doing appraisals right now, alright? That's how serious the conversation's getting, alright? Antique roadshow ass bitch. That's literally what it was. I think that's why Courtney started not fucking with, with Scott like that. But I think she was also feeling obligated because they weren't married. She's a vegan on swole. And he's mad fucking annoying. And I think that's what just worked out. Like, she, she knew, I'm not going to give my energy to this show. I'm going to just get this annoying ass nigga to have mad plots. And, you know what I mean? She was just going to be in the background raising the kids, quote unquote, being organic. I don't know. I just feel like she's trying to get some of that Corey dick. I, I predict a haircut with Courtney. I predict a haircut soon. She's going to have like a little lob. She's going to try that Rihanna shit. She might even get a bang. I hope she doesn't. Sis, if you see me, bitch, me and you, we don't fuck with each other because I eat different shit. And you're fucking fat phobic. Remember we had that conversation in the kitchen. You tried to shave me because I wanted Texas Toast croutons. You told me croutons shouldn't be that big. I don't want to go there, all right? I don't want to take myself back to that moment, but I will say this. Courtney, whatever you're looking for in Corey's dick, bitch, you're not going to find it because he's trying to get to your mama. He's trying to get that brain, bitch. He's trying to understand the work of a mad scientist. This bitch done had how many kids and pimped all of them out except for the last one. Fucking, um, I'm, I'm blanking, you know? I'm trying to forget my exes, you know what I mean? New year, new me, so... Rob, okay, Rob. Rob is the runt, all right? Rob wasn't supposed to make it. That's why we're not seeing pictures of Saint. They don't care about the boys and the family. I'm telling you, it's a curse, all right? They pray to black penis. Listen to me. They pray to black penis. Right now, Kim is praying to Kanye's penis, and what is it doing for her? Nothing. She's not getting more famous. She's getting desperate. What is she going to do? Expose. 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 Taylor Swift. Is Taylor really popping? I feel like at this point, to expose Taylor is kind of like rats in a cage eating each other's legs. For what? Y'all all stuck. It don't even matter. But it's the principle of the thing. They don't want that nigga to even think about walking away from that situation. So, I just feel like... Unfortunately for her, Taylor is linked to Kanye, is linked to Kim Kardashian. 
So they are in a trio. I feel like Kanye is super pissed. He's a Gemini. I feel like Kanye is super, super, super pissed that his video was not shocking enough. Wasn't that cool? And I want to tell you this. This is why it wasn't shocking. Because as a nation, we are currently trying to work through rape culture. We are currently trying to work through, you know what I mean, the politics of bodies, seeing people naked, not being able, people not have, having privacy. Like, we are literally in the midst of talking about bodies not apolog the bodies not an apology, while also juxtaposing sex, um, sex shaming or slut shaming. Um, sexuality shaming, fucking gender shaming, fucking trans antagonism. Like, we are literally in a sweet spot of, like, trying to really curb how motherfuckers are communicating and coming across to people who are oppressed. So I feel like this video literally was a step in the opposite motherfucking direction. And even though I don't fuck with Lena Dunham, I do respect what she was saying about seeing her friend naked just laying out there. Because I feel like if it was a black femme, which... In terms of him having Rihanna out there, I feel like folks were feeling like Rihanna sexualizes herself, so, like, we've seen Rihanna's titties before, so, like, I feel like it wasn't a big deal, but I feel like if he would have put someone else up there, you know, and I'm try and I'm struggling to think about who he could have put up there that would have been relevant to the situation, because I feel like Rihanna was irrelevant, Chris Brown was irrelevant, Donald Trump, George Bush... I feel like there was, like, like folks wanted to say it was, like, a, a painting, it was... Well, if he would have put Beyonce up there, it would have been disrespectful to Jay-Z. And Jay-Z fucked with Kanye when nobody fucked with Kanye. So, it would just not have made any fucking sense. Yeah, well, if I feel like I didn't want to, like, go into, like, a colorism aspect. But I feel like this the situation is he also did put a light-skinned person who is a non-American. Like, I feel like there's a lot of layers to Rihanna's, like... Uh, coolness, a lot of layers to her mystique, so I feel like her being on there is definitely a sexualization of her, but also the situation with her and Chris Brown because Chris Brown laying in the bed, it was just like, his whole body was twisted up and contorted, he looked like he had been like, abused, and I, it felt weird to me to see Chris Brown abused next to her laying there peacefully, almost dead, so it was kind of just like, damn, like what are you trying to say? I low-key don't care, but it's weird. That's how I felt, honestly. Um, I thought the video was shocking for zero reasons. I thought, like, it was just very contrived. And I also felt weird about the fact that there were cuts where there were clearly body doubles and then there were wax, like, paintings or figurines. Like, it was clear that there were, like, not, it was, like, not the people at some point moving around. That was scary, though. And I felt like, why, yay? <laughs> like, that's, like, that's how I felt watching it. I was like, why, yay? I didn't feel, like, super, like, disgusted or angered. I was just like, okay. I don't know, though, but I feel like at the end of the day, what the fuck do you expect from a Kanye video at this point? After he did Bound, I was like, bitch, good night. I feel like Kanye phoned it in. I feel like, real talk, I wanted to say this a while ago because I, I read this comment and it really, like, struck me. Like, you ever read a comment that someone says about something that, like, you've been trying to get in your mind. Like, you've been trying to just figure out how to define what you're feeling, and you read it. I really had a moment where I was like, yo. Black men get with white women so often. And I'm, I notice so often the dynamic between their relationship is often, like, very parental, where, like, the white woman is, like, literally taking care of this nigga. And then, because, like, this nigga is getting taken care of by a white woman, he feels, like, extra fucking, like, brave in anything he says or does that is anti-black or, like, full of misogynoir. Like, I feel like having the white bitch's dollar behind a nigga's back be making a nigga be acting so fucking wild. Like, I feel like I am, like, in my everyday, like, not just at my job, but just, like, out and about, I constantly, constantly see white women with black men, and they're always so stank. And I'd be like, sis. I don't 
don't even know this nigga. Like, they be acting like, like, honestly, you ever notice how white bitches, like, here's my thing. Whenever I see another black person, I feel like I want to be like, smile, you know? And I'm not saying I always smile, but I try to go out of my way for my niggas when I see my niggas. I be like, hey, how are you? Mm, trying to be sweet because I feel like world talk there's a lot of ugly ass white people out in the earth and I feel like for every white person that don't say hi to me or how are you doing to me in a store where they sometimes think I fucking own it it's weird to me because it's like a lot of these like Asian folks do be owning their stores and I know these white folks don't be speaking and I know that that probably makes them angry and I know that in some cases some of the issues that these tourists these white tourists be having with like the store owners and the store keepers and the store maintainers employees is because we're so sick and fucking tired of white people disregarding us every fucking step of the damn way that like when it's in our face in our job we're kind of like fuck y'all like fuck this situation and i've had white people say to me you know thanks for being nice we've had some really shitty service like we've had some people just be super rude to us and I always think, well, what the fuck was you doing, though? Because they never want to say what the fuck the context was. They always want to say somebody was rude to them. Somebody treated them wrong. Ja, ja, ja. And I'm just like, all right, bitch. And it's like, I try to be extra nice to other black folks, especially because I know when black folks come out here to spend money, it's like, stop it. It'd be a lot of some fuck shit, honestly. I see a lot of, like, anti-black racism on the block that I work on. From people that I see every motherfucking day that would not try me in particular. And I feel like it's pre mainly because I work so close to them. It's like you're seeing me too much to be trying to play me. But I also feel like it's because they feel like I'm a respectable nigga. Because I'm working on the block. Like you can easily find me if I do something wrong. Or if anything goes down. You know I feel like they will snitch on me in a fucking second. So I feel like the situation is. You know, when I'm seeing these, like, black men, I'm also clocking the dynamics with these relationships with these white women. And I just wonder, you know, right now, like, what's Kanye feeling? You know, what is Kanye doing right now? What is Kanye really, you know, like, what is what is the actor of this whole situation in their households? Because they got, they raised them two black children. And they over here fucking around talking about a Taylor Swift. What kind of fucking... That's some fucking like like real like vampiric ass shit. Like I just feel like we're in a fucking time of great crisis. And I don't look to Kanye or Kim Kardashian to inform me on shit or to help me through my fucking day. But it's like, bitch, you got all these likes, all these selfies, all this money. And I just wonder where the fuck it all goes. Like, I really wonder where it all motherfucking goes. Like, y'all wanna, y'all wanna fly bricks in from Milan. You wanna fly in tapestries from motherfucking, uh, Bora Bora, bitch. You wanna get sand from Anguilla. Bitch, I'm just sick of this. I'm just so sick of hearing about these folks, honestly. But I feel like it's weirder to me that they would just, like, sit on a recording. When, real talk, this was T weeks ago. I don't think it's T now. I feel like, I hope people give a fuck enough to watch that video on my uh, YouTube. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to get some video of that shit. I don't give a fuck, bitch. But, as I was saying... Um, it's really not news because I know that we're not checking for the album like that. I have not played that album one time, bitch. I've heard it a couple times. I watched the listening party video, bitch. <sighs> oh, brother, bitch. When I was watching that shit, I was just like, oh, brother. I don't even be saying, oh, brother, bitch. And I was like, oh, brother. I be saying white people shit sometimes. Honestly, just to display my fucking lack of interest. I be like, gee, willikers. Yikes. God damn it. So fucking tripped out about that shit. I was like, y'all are so basic. And Kanye just... Kanye should just be a DJ. Because that's his whole vibe, bitch. Ain't it? He got a DJ vibe. You know how DJs be. I'm a DJ. They be so stank. They be wanting to always play the music and shit. That's who he is. He a SoundCloud nigga. Like, I don't know why he don't just stay on SoundCloud and do his thing. I feel like Ye would make so much more money if he just sold his MP3s on SoundCloud to stop doing the albums and stop wasting his money buying shoes and buying tattered and torn of garments and trying to resell them.
Because that shit ain't designed, nigga. Like, I'm sorry. Like, he talking about some he a, a clothing designer. Girl. Come on, sis. There's no way to design a whole hoe. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way to design a goddamn hole, a rip, a tear, a snag, a tatter. That is not a design. Bitch, it came like that. It came like that. You ripped it up. You fucked it up. You burned it. You poured tea on it. You made it look old. Cute. That's not a designer, bitch. That's a destroyer. You're a destroyer of clothing. You're a destroyer of fabrics. That's fine. But, bitch, your craft, it's not working. I don't believe anyone's buying that shit. I feel like the people that are buying that shit are, like, the niggas that really try to, like, talk to you about Kanye for real. Because everybody knows a nigga like that. Everybody has dated a nigga like that. Everybody has seen a nigga like that. Try to holler at them. A nigga out there, you know, loves Kanye. And he prays to the altar of Kanye. And he be talking about, and, like, people be talking to you about Kanye. And they be dead serious. Like, I love Kanye. Like, like people, like, you ever just talk about Kanye and people be like, I don't know, I love Kanye. That's how they start with the con conversation. I don't know, man, I love Kanye West. And then it's like, all right, word. And then they're like, have you ever listened to complete albums or do you just hate some singles? And then it's just like, from there, they're naming albums, they're naming numbers. They're like, all right, listen to number nine on this album. It's like, bitch, what the fuck is number nine? What the fuck? Tell us a number nine. Don't know the name of it. I'm like, all right, okay, cute. No. Negro Riffic, I agree with you. I feel like Kanye really do wish that white people could just see him as like colorblind. Like, I feel like his next concept, bitch, quote me, if this shit works out, I thought of it, bitch, and he snatched it from me, bitch, because I'm telling you right now, me and Kanye are having a moment. I really don't know what's next for him, but in my heart of hearts, I feel like he's going to be out here painted rainbow, bitch. Like, I'm telling you, it's going to be some weird shit. I feel like his next album, his next video or whatever, he's going to be on some God shit, but on some other, other shit, where he's trying to like Alex Mack. He's going to be metallic, bitch. He's going to have blue eyes, but like... It's going to be some other shit where it looks more real. Like, I think he's going to get, like, the the ones that, like, I think he's going to spend some money. Because them other ones that he got, he ain't really spend no money, bitch. Because if you spend some good money, you can get some good contacts. You know everybody out there who's ever worn contacts from the beauty supply, you have gone on the YouTube trist. And you've been, like, contacts, contacts, contacts. And you found a, a pair of contacts that was so fucking nice. And you're like, wait, shit costs, like, $500, bitch. Kanye didn't do that. He went out. He got him his little $35 con, uh, little little joints kylie probably picked them up with her little friend jordan who looks like a little dust mite she probably actually went out and got them and brought them back to the crib because no one's really checking for her um yeah the the contacts the bitch he got you know he got the fucking the grays he got them grays he did not spend that much money so i'm gonna call her a dust mite i'm sorry i just don't see it i just feel like in ways the thing that irks me about jordan kylie's best friend She's an all lives matter type bitch. But also, I just get irked about seeing like size 12 bitches be on, like be put on and like be models and shit. I be like, wait, why? Why are you a plus size model? We don't need another size 10 plus size model. It's not important. But I feel like she's basic and she's not thin so they're gonna make her a plus size model and it's like okay cool the kardashians just bought this black femme spot into being a fucking model and she's not even a good model bitch honestly to me fuck all these models if you don't got a fat fat bitch if you don't got a fat 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 bitch i don't care i don't, I don't care bitch can i tell y'all though why this uh, fat black person like posted a fucking lookbook and people tried to roast her? And I was so mad because it's like real talk. The all like her body shape was bigger than mine, but because like I'm like I'm a bigger person, I'm like a fucking size twenty six. It's like it's rare that I see my body, so it's rare for me to be like that person is bigger than me. But it wasn't that she was bigger than me that I noticed. It was that she was bigger than me and was wearing brands that I did not think I could fit. She was wearing clothes that I just did not think I could even like go there to shop. And it kind of had me like, damn, oh shit. And I was like, that is so important because there's so many fat femmes who are bigger than me and my size who are like, bitch, where are our clothes? Like there's so many times where like we just don't see it. I actually posted it on marshmallow.com. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm blanking on her name right now, but um, 
she's a cool ass a uh, uh, dark skin fo a uh, person i want to say she has braids in um just like mine and she also has like her little clips in and she looks adorable as fuck all of her outfits were cute there were a couple things from rub dolls that i'd seen that i was like could i even fit this Bitch, I been had a dot com, but I'm about to be done with it though. Like I'm, about, I'm like kind of over having a dot com. I feel like it's kind of like whatever. Plus, also, I really don't want to have to get in contact with my ex, like transfer my shit, because I feel like we don't fuck with each other anymore. He's about to get married to this bitch, who he told me mad drama, but I don't want to get into it. But he told me mad shit about her, and I'm kind of just like. You're kind of a scumbag. Like, I really hate dudes like that. That, like, do shitty-ass stuff and expect you to just keep a secret and shit like that. Or expect you to not care. Or expect you to just, like, move on after you know some, like, wild-ass shit. It's like, what? Honestly, it's really not worth a video, bitch. But, bitch, I want to... Oh, I want to tell y'all so much stuff. Okay, it's 2.30. I'm going to smoke another split. But then I'm going to have to go. Because I'm wilding. My Tumblr URL is a dot .com. You can actually, well, the thing is, you can use Tumblr to port your dot .com. If you get a dot .com, you can port your, um, you can port your website through there. So if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to, like, customize a website, um, and get a dot .com, you could do it through Tumblr. And I feel like Tumblr is much easier to customize and create your own layout, um, than a lot of these other sites, but essentially a fucking website is just a bunch of boxes that you create yourself with code. So, bloop, demystified. But, um, that was my decision. Like, my Tumblr was, like, popping for a minute, and then I was like, oh, and I was like, I should probably get a dot .com. But my partner bought the dot .com for me, which is really cute, but I was like, hmm. I don't know. I feel like now that we're not together, it's kind of like I need to cut it loose. You know, I need to kind of move on from that. And it's been, like, kind of crazy because I feel like, I don't know, even, like, even though I've been in a relationship for over a year, it still feels like, I don't know, I guess, like, I still saw in some way thought that maybe, maybe we would try again. But I feel like that's crazy. But Brad, I'm dead. Sydney's good. She's doing very well. She was sick as fuck though last week. Like she was sick for a full week, bitch. It was like really scary. It was like fucking up her whole life. And like she couldn't go to work. And like you can't just, I don't know. It's like when she's sick like that, it's like impossible to like be calling someone on the phone and be like, hi, can you cover my shift? Like she's like throwing up, like sleeping, like next to the toilet and shit. Um, she has, um, she has acid reflux. And, um, she, and, like, I feel like a lot of people don't, like, a lot of people think, like, acid reflux is just, like, you, like, have, like, heartburn and shit, but, like, she be, like, puking for mad days, and it's, like, a situation where I think she needs to, like, be more softer with her tummy in terms of her food intake, but I feel like we're still, like, trying to get caught up on bills, so it's, like, really hard to be, like, oh, like, let's go buy mad healthy groceries like it's mad easier to just buy a bunch of bullshit and some shit that we you can cook but it's not necessarily something that's going to be like super healing so Nagi forever damn yeah she like yeah she was like puking she was puking and she had nothing to throw up so she would just drink water to throw it up so that she could move on it's Mel Rosa thank you for telling me about that I will definitely try to hit that up Oh, damn, Juniper J. I'm sorry to hear that for you. Fuck. Everybody having tummy issues. Damn, I guess it's more more common than you think. But, I don't know. I feel like, um, we're trying to, we're trying to just, you know, I guess, like, be more on point with, like, our grocery buying. Because I feel like this past week we, like, super weren't. And we kind of ate out more than we should have. But I feel like once you start eating out, then it's like, if you don't buy groceries, then you kind of have no choice but to eat out at a certain point. So, it's kind of annoying. But um, anyways, I want to tell you another story. Yeah, no, people, like, Sydney's doctor's stay thinking that she's, like, faking. Like, she literally has to go to the hospital, like, when she or like to her doctors when she's actually sick and it's a really hard to schedule an appointment like you know what i mean like to time 
a flare up around an appointment so it's just like really fucking complicated quite honestly like the last time she went when she was sick they were just like take some fucking like I don't know just like take some fucking uh like some Claritin or some shit or or rather uh some like Tums like some hardcore ass Tums is what they gave her see and she barely does she barely drinks coffee but she eats OD oranges y'all she really does she loves citrus I mean, I feel like she doesn't really fuck with Tums that hard. But it was like some shit called like Rentadine or something. Lemons. Thank you, PP420. I appreciate you. And your eyebrows, bitch. Give me that. You know, the economy is so wild, Max Data. It is so wild right now. Like, bitch, $4 for a gallon of milk. What the fuck? And you need milk for like everything you want to make. And cereal. What the fuck? Fancy Nexiums. We don't have a Trader Joe's in town. The closest Trader Joe's is in like Baton Rouge. And bitch, I really don't feel like I'm going to get Baton Rouge anytime motherfucking soon. Really can't. Really can't see that for me. So, um, hold on though. I'm gonna light this lip. I'm about to light my spliff though, calm down. What up, vitamin C, how you doing? Phony Morrison, yes. I wanna go to Trader Joe's so bad though. Phony, let's go. I'm so into that. I would super love a TJ date. That would be healing. In the midst of a world that's like killing all of these black folks. Just out here, just trying to like exist, you know. Just be alive, just go shopping. That's cute. Vampire, uh, okay bitch. What kind of weed? I don't know. Can you see this? Weed. <laughs> they don't have a coops here. What's the longest I've been high? My life. <laughs> we don't have sprouts near me unfortunately I'm sorry like that was too easy bitch like I smoke all the time bitch I smoke to manage my motherfucking stress like if I don't smoke I'm mean as hell <laughs> like honestly I'm horrible when I'm not high and I feel like it's cause I have fucking anxiety and I feel like I don't know. I feel like I've met people who I think I would be like if I didn't smoke. Because I've been smoking since I was like 19 now. And I'm 26. So it feels like forever. It feels like a while. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I used to cry a lot. Like I feel like I used to be super emotional. Like, as a, as a person. Not in a bad way, but in a way that was kind of, like, worrisome. Like, I feel like I took things really hard. And I feel like now, I feel like I feel the appropriate amount of sadness in the moment. And then I'm sad as fuck later. So I have a lot of things stored up that I gotta deal with. But I'm not feeling them now. So, that's what matters. Nah, because cancers, I feel like cancers, 
be like taking time out for their sadness daily. I do not do that shit. I feel like sometimes I'll let myself be sad, but I haven't been able to let myself be sad um, recently. Like, I don't know. I haven't mourned shit. Exactly. I gotta compartmentalize. I have no choice. I feel like I don't have the time to like be tripping. But sidebar, I feel like I talked about this in my last Periscope, but I want to post this on YouTube, so I'm saying it again. Hi. Um, I'm planning on moving to Colorado. Me and Sydney have been talking about it aggressively. And I know like you're probably saying, you guys just moved. And it's like we did just move. But I feel like I think we're realizing that having a roommate is a thing. I think we try to downplay that. And it's different. And I feel like having a roommate while you're having a relationship is also a thing. And I think sometimes when we, when me and Sydney are having disagreements, like, I just do not want to be, like, affecting the vibe in the house. But the vibe in the house is also very strange. So... I feel like my plan is to just figure out a situation here. Um, my plan, actually, here's my plan of attack. Because I've been watching Being Mary Jane. And I wanted to say this also. Like, I feel like I'm getting, like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like sometimes, like, because I'm a visual learner, watching Being Mary Jane just, like, made me feel like, I don't feel like it was boring. I feel you on I feel you Ace Rad. I feel like it's boring like I feel like it's boring if you're looking at it like from if you're looking for like queer media. Like cuz I showed it to a friend and I feel like they were like, "Yeah, I don't care because like there aren't that many queer people in there." I feel like outside of the respectable tropes that like the main character displays, I'm good on Vegas. I feel like I don't want to be around that many white people. Like, I feel like Colorado is, like, mad fucking white, but I feel like I'm moving to an area where there's, like, ma majorly black folks, and I feel like there's, like, black shops. Like, I'm hoping to, like, be moving near this, like, hair store. Please pray for me if you're a praying person. I know I got some Christians in the group. What up? Let me get some of your power. I need you to pray for me. I'm trying to get to this hair store. I'm trying to live near it. It's the biggest beauty supply I've ever seen in my life. It is cheaper in Colorado. It's super cheaper. Well, I feel like Colorado is somewhere I was for six months, and I feel like I enjoyed a lot of things about it, but I feel like Sydney wants to move because her field, like makeup art artistry, is kind of like more paid and respected in Colorado. Like, there's just more people wearing makeup in Colorado. That's just the reality. Because it's less hot there. So you're not going to sweat your face off. Um, and then also, sweet Bella I am, bitch. We got to hang out. It is super sunny in Colorado. It's hot, but hot in, like, the best way. Like, hot in a way that won't fuck up your hair. Because, like, in, in New Orleans, bitch, I'm going to say this right now. The sun hates white people. And weave is the truth. Cheap weave especially. Alright? If the sun gets on your weave, bitch, run. So many folks don't know this. Get a hat if you're going to be in the sun with your weave because it'll boil it up. It's just plastic, sis. It's just plastic. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like for real sometimes I've seen a roasted weave bitch and I've been like why wouldn't you just like just get a scarf get dramatic with it get a scarf and get some fucking sunglasses just do that cause like goddamn. and the thing is you know when it was happening to me it was roasting it from the crown bitch 
It was roasting it. So the, the crown would feel crunchy as fuck. And the edges would feel like dog's hair. Like an uncared for dog. So. But to see it. You're like fuck. It do look bad. <laughs> because like on yourself. You're seeing the front of the, of the shits. And I feel like the front goes last. Like I feel like the bangs on the unit. The sides on the unit. That shit roasts last. Because it's framing your face. It's literally shading you. And it's just god damn it. You know, I wonder. I wonder about the sun out here. But my plan is <laughs> is AliExpress a scam. You know what? I'm going to say this. I got a wig from AliExpress once that a friend sent me. And it was the, the fullest wig I've ever felt in my life. It was so full of life. It was very hard to curl. Um, I don't know what kind of synthetic hair that they're using. It, if it's already curled, it's never going to stop being curled. So... That's a plus if you love curly units. <sighs> but um, I wanted to say... Shit, I wanted to say like two other things. And I can't remember. I was talking about the sun. Okay. So I was going to say my, my plan of attack. And I mentioned being Mary Jane because I was just like, you know what? I got to be fearless. Like that's what I took away from that. From that that show is like I gotta own the fact that like white people are gonna be intimidated by me I just gotta know my shit it's like if they're gonna be like intimidated that's gonna be the fucking shit that's that's what it's gonna be but I know I gotta be on fucking point and when they come to me I'm gonna do their eyeliner cause I'm gonna be on fucking point so I decided I'm gonna go to this hat company that has a sister store in downtown Denver. And I'm going to go there and I'm going to ask them, you know, if they're looking for part-time work, if they're looking for full-time work, what they pay, da 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 and have my resume in hand. So they know that I've been working at the job that I've been working at for over a year. And I'm committed. I'm also going to have my sales numbers, bitch. Because a bitch do be making money. And I'm going to be including the sales numbers of my motherfucking superior. And letting them know that our hours are actually quite opposite. And I do not work during peak times. And I'm also making the same amount of money. So, I'm going to be letting them know that I'm out here. So, it's a wrap. Thank you so much. Well, my plan is this. I feel like working for Gorin might be a good thing because... I feel like what they've got going is just what we've got going. Only they have cultivated a style. Like my job, they don't have any. They don't have any cares about endorsing people or creating looks. You know, that's the thing. They don't care about creating a look. And I really love the fact that Gorin actually goes out of their way to create a full look. They have the feathers. They have the bands. They have the hats. The hats that we have are very generic, in my quite, in my honest opinion. Um, and I feel like only some of them are actually worth selling. And I feel like it's very obvious to me as a salesperson when we are low on hats and when I'm going to actually make money. I'm not trying to sell to you. I'm just trying to explain to you like the inner workings of my mind as a salesperson. Because I know some people have asked me questions about sales like because they've seen like a couple of my videos where I'm like where I'm working. Um, practicing my speech no but I'm just trying to say though I'm like I feel like you can tell when like I can anticipate when I'm going to make money and when I'm not depending on what the fuck the inventory is looking like so I feel like with that I'm on enough I feel like that's something you can't teach somebody you can't teach somebody like how to anticipate their sales like every day and like what it's looking like and shit so I feel like that might be cute and also the place that I'm trying to work at, bitch, it's just mad fucking fly. Like, if you get a chance, look up Gorin Brothers, G-O-O-R-I-N, Brothers. They have, like, um, they actually have a photo gallery on the bottom of their website where anyone can upload pictures of them with the hats. And just, it's a bunch of bougie-ass white people, but I feel like I'm about to just get my look on swole. I'm about to come through with a fascinator popping, looking extra cute, looking extra motherfucking costume. I'm about to give them Helena Bottom Carter. Okay, I'm going to give them all that. I'm going to give them that big head bitch. I mean... Honestly, I just want to be like, I feel like I low-key want to be a car salesperson, but I'm scared to drive. 
Like, that's literally the only thing stopping me from being a car salesperson is, like, my fear of driving. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm very scared to drive. Like, I've been in so many car accidents with friends that, you know, I'm just kind of shook. But I'm trying to work my way up, you know, but I'm hoping that, like, the pay there is, like, cute because me and Sydney are trying to get this motherfucking little cute-ass spot in Colorado. We're trying to live, like, really cute, and I'm hoping it's going to work out. But I'm more excited for her because, like, basically her salary will double, like, once we move, which is, like, ridiculous because it's, like, you know, she makes enough money now, but it's, like, damn, you know, like, fuck. I mean, like, not enough, but, like... I mean, like, I guess 30000 30, a year, you know what I mean, give or take, you know, after taxes, I guess, like, isn't, like, the worst. It's more than what I fucking make, but I think for her, like, I think she wants to, you know, make enough money to, like, have more than, like, just us, like, have an apartment and sometimes go to the beach. Like, I feel like we want to obviously travel more reach the stars i told sydney that she should make a, a youtube channel but she's scared too because i think she's a libra so she wants to be like super perfect about it but bitch can i tell you crazy ass motherfucking life shit sidebar sidebar think it's about like her looking bad um and Asa you don't be looking bad but I feel or, or rough um but I just feel like she's just not in a space where she feels like she can like do what she wants to do because I feel like she she feels weird about asking for help for with shit and I've offered to let her use my nice camera but she's like weird about it so or not even that she's weird about it. I think, like, it is a money thing. Like, I think if she made more money, she'd be feeling, like, more able to do, like, you know, other projects. But I feel like she doesn't feel, cap like, I don't think she feels like she's in the space financially to do the other shit that she wants to do. But, bitch. Um, I wanted to say that I do have, YouTube does take a lot of time. Um, but I want to definitely come through with more videos, but I feel like my heart really super isn't in, like, reviewing shit anymore. Like, I feel like that's something that, like, I had to, like, come to, because it's, like, I enjoy watching reality shows and stuff, but I feel like it just be so much to, like, critique. Like, this season of, like, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, like, I, I don't even know where the fuck to begin. I don't even know where the fuck to begin, quite honestly. Um, I did want to come through and talk shit about, uh, Waka Flocka and Tammy, though, I'm not gonna lie, because I feel like Waka is a piece of fucking garbage, yo. I feel like, in my soul, like, damn. But, like, what do you do now? You know what I mean? Like, Tammy's out here pregnant, so, I don't know. What a mistake. Uh, terrible. Hmm. But, I don't feel like, I, but I feel like Tammy... Like, the fact that Tammy hasn't gotten pregnant since meeting Waka, I think, tells me a lot. I feel like she did not trust him. She is pregnant. Phony Morrison, thank you for saying that. Yeah, um, she's, she's pregnant, and he's very cocky about her taking him back. And it's just weird to me that she's pregnant all of a sudden. And I feel like this is a trap, baby. Like, I feel like he trapped her with this child. Because she really could have left his ass. You know? She really could have been free of him. She had no ties to him other than, like, their fake marriage. Where they didn't, get, where they didn't even get rings. Reminders. I think people think Waka's a good guy because he doesn't really pop out that much. Like, I think, like, people wanted to believe that he was just, like, a carefree black boy, like, just being funny. And then also he's attractive. So I feel like there were a lot of things that people, like, wanted to project onto him. 
Trapper Brett, yes, Trap Baby, yo. Oh my God, did y'all read that that post? Uh, guy Secrets, the Guy Secrets thread on Twitter. Did anybody else see that shit? I reblogged it on on Marshmallow.com. Um, but basically, uh, the a bunch of uh, black men were confirming that they do fuck ass shit uh, in the privacy of their own, you know, homes and jobs, perhaps, and back alleys and things of that nature. I got no ads on my blog, so it's not like I'm trying to send you just a mess where you like go and click on it and it's just a bunch of music playing and shit. That's not even what the fuck the vibe is. I'm just saying. I don't watch Power, but I should. Fire, what up? I want to watch Power. Actually, me and me and Ashley were talking about getting into it. Good to see you too. You look cute. Why were they snitching on themselves, bitch? I don't know. I will say this. I feel like I just feel like love and hip hop. Uh, I see basketball wives. I literally just thought about getting into it because I saw a thread about it. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to click on the thread because I ain't been watching and I have no desire to watch. And I thought about it too, but I was like, is Dre even on there? And I know that Dre is pregnant, but I'm like, or is this, is this the baby hatched? Does anyone know? I don't care to watch. I don't want to really know. I just don't know how the fuck Drake is still... See, Dre not even on there. That's the only reason why I would even watch. See? I don't know why. I think Dre is cute to me. Dre is cute to me. Like, she just looks like that, uh... That bird from motherfucking, um... From Charlie Brown. She just gives me, like, a little Woodstock tease. So that's why I like watching her. Because I'm just like, that bitch is a cartoon. She just a cartoon looking bitch. I love it. It's exciting to me. Whenever I see her. Whenever she be talking. And then also, I love her hairstyles. Like, she came through with the finger waves. Remember she came through with the finger waves, bitch? I live for it. I live for her outfits. She is cute. She is cute. It's no shade to her. She does have a cartoon face. But she's mad adorable. President Obama's response to racial happenings. Jesus. Barry. Barry ain't been shit. I've been said it. I've been knew it. I've been felt it. I try not to speak on him because everybody loves him. But I think it's more that everybody loves Michelle. And they don't want to make fun of her man. And that's just what the fuck it is. But I'm going to say this. Fuck President Obama. And fuck Michelle too. Because I feel like Michelle over here hiding behind making uh, fat people uh, not fat no more. Getting everybody healthy. Making Beyonce do an extended version to get me bodied. I don't have time. Who don't love the idea of Obama? He's a young, att like attractive in, 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 in air quotes. I don't find him cute. I don't find him cute. He looking like, like honestly, one time I seen a picture... Of Barack Obama mixed with um, George Bush. And they looked identical to me. And I've never been able to unsee that. So now I'd be seeing it. I'd be like, what is the truth? I don't know. But real talk though, can I sidebar real quick? I need to go and light my shit. <laughs> But I'll be RB. Burb. <coughs> Obama has done nothing for niggas. I'll say it again for the niggas in the back. Obama has done nothing for niggas. Not a damn thing. The thing that irks me about all of this is that I feel like we knew 
the first four years, for New Orleans, and I'm dead. First of all, they would not let me live because I'd be smoking weed. But ain't that the, ain't that a shame? I know most most folk out here be smoking something. Ain't that the shame of it all? But I feel like the people that be smoking do not be voting. Not saying that like everybody who smoke don't vote, but I'm just saying like I know I don't vote and I know I smoke and I feel like when I be smoking, I be it it be influencing me to not vote. <laughs> it be influencing me to just stay my ass at home. Bitch, can I tell you I called the police the other day on some white people, bitch. It was so freeing. Like it was so exciting, bitch. Like <laughs> Bitch, I got hot, but you know nothing happened, right? So look, so there were some white people. Um, they decided to play around the statue. Um, decided to climb on it and shit because they were just being extra. And I'm gonna also say this: these were white crusties. If you're not familiar, in New Orleans, there are lots of white people who migrate here with. With dogs. Think Balto, but less cool. And um, their dogs, they actually put backpacks on their dogs. Specially made backpacks for dogs to carry things. And they make their dogs uh, their slaves. Because white people don't know how to not have slaves. So, the white crusties are out here just day drinking. Letting their feet rot off. They like lay in the sun for hours while they're drunk. And people... In New Orleans, think everything is funny and performance art for some reason. So it becomes just a bunch of Instagram photos and Snapchats. And it's really weird and it's really fucked up. But at the same time, these are people who literally get get food given to them by other white people who are like, well, at least they'll, maybe they'll give some food to the dog or, you know, here's $20. You know, make sure you buy the dog some kibble. Like, white people literally throw away money to other white people who are like, pretend poor. It's very weird. It's really fucked up. And anytime I see them, I try to pop off on them because they, like, irk the fuck out of me. Like, they literally just, like, have their dogs looking like they're starving and shit. And they got, like, eight boxes of Ruby Tuesdays and shit next to them. And it's like, what's the tea? Give the dog the fucking, at least some of the steak. At least some of the noodles. Goddamn. Like, they just be out here just, like, being fucking ugly and stank and nasty. And I feel like they just really have no concept of animal abuse. Like, ain't that a shame? They'll send Michael Vick's ass to prison. But they will not crack down on these white people who have decided to not have a house, but still want to have 15 fucking dogs. You can't have a dog if you don't have a house. That's how I really fucking feel. That's how I really fucking feel. Like, I get it. Like, that's your friend. But, yo, maybe your friend want to sleep inside sometimes. Maybe your friend want to fucking come in and feel like some heat somewhere and not be sleeping in the rain and shit and get pissed on by your other friend. That is ridiculous. It's just wild to me, though. Like, white people be out here don't even think about animal abuse, like, as it is. It is real. It is real. Well, fuck it though. I just feel like white people super, super, super be like abusive as fuck and like nobody clocks it. But it's like the whole city is like that. The whole city is full of like white people being fake broke and it's like people just accept it. Like nobody's gonna check it. But I'm really amused terribly. Um, I was gonna say, bitch, I called the police on these white people because these like two white crusties or climbing on a statue that's at least one story tall. And when I say they're climbing this shit, I mean they were straight up parkouring. Like these niggas was like climbing the shit, standing on the shit, like on like and they were scaring the fuck out of me. So I called the police. I was like, ma'am, I was like, there are two white supremacists who are 
dancing on top of the statue. They are at least 50 feet off the ground and they are potentially going to die. And the woman was like, ma'am, is this a protest? And I said, yes, it is very violent. And the woman was like, do you want to leave your name? I said, I declined to leave my name. <laughs> I don't never leave my name with the police if I got to call them. <coughs> like one time we got robbed and it got kind of crazy and I had to call the police. And I was like, I decline. Because you don't need my name to stop the crime, bitch. Yeah, like they, they'd be like... They'd be like, do you want us to send an officer so you can, like, leave a statement? I'm like, no. I'm like, stay your ass over there, bitch. Follow the crime. Like, last night, or not last night, two nights ago. There was this couple outside fighting, and the woman was like, if you touch me, you'll go to jail. If you put your hands on me, you'll go to jail. So I called the police, because fuck that shit. And this nigga was like, and the dude, he was just like yelling. I don't know. He was being like really quiet, but he was being like really like threatening in his in his body language. So I was like describing him to the police officer. And like, I'm telling you right now, New Orleans cops do not give a fuck. Do, like, that's the other reason why I don't want to be over here and shit. Because they don't care. Jasmine, that's fucked up. See, I would never call them from my house. That's the other thing. I would never call the cops from my house. I only call from my fucking job or a public ass police. It is out, bitch. I'm sad. But I would never call the police from my house because they'll come to your fucking house, bitch. They got that location tracker, bitch. So it's like they know where I was at, but they ain't going to go to the store. They don't care. Jas Jas Jasmine, I'm sorry, bitch. That's fucking fucked up. I'm sorry that they came to your crib. My fucking old roommate called the cops on me, bitch. And them niggas came so fast in Colorado, bitch. It was so scary, bitch. I was taking a shit. I thought I had time. And, like, she don't call the police because she didn't want me to have anybody over the house. But she was, like, high-key mad that I didn't pay her no rent. But the bitch stole my damn job and got me fired the same week. So I was like, bitch, what rent could I give you? I have no money. I don't even have a job. Like, I was like, girl, cow. And so she wanted to call the police on me because I was trying to, like, get a fuck on. I was trying to, like, fuck with my, like, little fuck buddy. I was like, nigga, my job has got stolen. Like, I ain't got no money. At least let me get some dick. Like, honestly, that's all I wanted was some dick. That's all I really wanted was some dick. And the bitch gonna call the motherfucking police on me, bitch. Gonna call the police and gonna have the police tell me that I can't have people over the house. And I was like, bitch, but I have a lease in my hand. And the lease nowhere states that I can't have a guest. And this nigga gonna be like, he's like, you can't have people over here. You know, that's just what it is. And I'm like, what authority do you have, like, to tell me this? And, like, this nigga was just getting all brolic. And I'm like, yo. And, like, that's why I don't be calling the police unless it's some white people shit. And it really was. Like, when those when that couple was arguing... I was like, white lady, I'm trying to save your life. <laughs> like, sometimes, yo, like, sometimes, like, I like I don't know, this white man, the white man was just giving me too much, like, he was scaring me, and she was crying, and she was, like, crying and looking sad as fuck, and then he, like, hailed a cab, and, like, she got into it, but I felt bad for her, because I was like, damn, bitch, he, he's probably gonna, like, attack you or some shit when, you, when he gets you to the hotel or some shit, but it was just weird, like, she was just trying to get away from him. And it was just, like, freaking me the fuck out. And I just felt like nobody else is on the street. Like, nobody else cared about what was happening. Like, it was weird to me. Like, it was just people were just, like, drunk as fuck walking by, like, la, la, la. And the streets are full of people, and nobody cared. Max Data, the thing is, tell me why when I called the police and those white people who are, like, climbing up the statue, the white, the fucking, these two cops came. It was a black cop and a white cop, and they both dead ass just took, uh, took videos of it and were laughing, and they thought it was funny. And I was like, okay, but when these white people fall off the statue and be dead, <laughs> like, is it gonna be so funny that you have, like, their picture? Because that seems fucked up. <laughs> But real talk, nobody cared. Like, people were just, like, Snapchatting and taking pictures of, like, these white people just, like, about to be dead. But I feel like the statue was, like, a pokey stop also. So I feel like it was just a wild-ass place. 
I wanted to buy shoes. Honestly, like, whatever the police be acting a fool, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, bitch, why is he this old, yo, why is he this old, white-ass, old, like, chubby-ass cop smoking a cigar, just walking down the street, just, like, eating a fucking sandwich, smoking a cigar, just, like, walking down the street, just living life. And I was like, how are you a police officer right now? What if a crime happened right now? You don't even give a fuck. Like, they don't even give a fuck out here, bitch. They be just smoking cigars, eating snacks. Like, one time, like, pol the police, like, I had a whole situation pop off that I, was, that I was trying to talk about a while ago. But basically, like, these white folks um, had, had left. And I had two black police officers, like, who are now dealing with the case involving me. And these niggas was eating fucking cheese crackers. Like, you know them, like, them crackers that be coming with, like, a nasty-ass layer of cheese in between them? They were just eating those off the roof of a car. Smoking cigars, bitch. Just waiting. Just waiting to figure out the next move with my case. And I'm just watching them, like, all right, that's cute. And I was like, um, can I wait in the police car? And they were like, no. And I was like, the mosquitoes are eating me alive. <laughs> and they like didn't care. But I was like, honestly, like I was like 22, much different person. I feel like at this point, even if I was getting eaten up by, by mosquitoes, I don't think I would like dead ass like let, um, a fucking, uh, um, I'm sorry, bitch. I just seen a mouse and I'm scared. Bitch, can I tell you? It's like mouse gate at my house. Like a couple weeks ago, it was flea gate. The last people that lived here, they had fleas, bitch, and it was crazy. And now they're all gone. Thank the Lord. But now it's mice. And honestly, the other night, I want to tell you, I had the worst experience of my adult life. And I'm going to share it with you after I light my shit because you know how I live. I see a mouse, dead ass, just walk on my counter, look at me, and then crawl into a hole. What's happening? I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. That shit caught me all the way off guard, bitch. I was trying to still talk. Yeah. So look, so my fucking landlord, he's being anti-black as fuck. I want to say this on the record. The people that used to live here, I used to chill over here and shit. And whenever they had an issue, like this nigga would fix that shit mad quick. Why the fuck now when we hit him up about the fleas, that nigga was like basically like, fuck y'all. And then when we hit him up about the mice, he gonna drop off some glue traps. Now, I'm gonna say this for real. I, I dead ass forgot that at least four or five years ago, me and my partner had a mouse festation in our Boston home. And it became really apparent, you know, once we caught the mouse, that there's like, there's no quick death. Like, it's just like a mouse on a trap and you gotta either kill it or do something. And we did not know how to kill a mouse. We were scared. So I don't want to say what we did, but we did a bunch of shit that we probably shouldn't have done. But we just did not know what to do. It was like in the wee hours of the morning when we caught it. It was screaming. It was crying. We did not know what to do. Shit got crazy. But in this instance, bitch, the mice are not playing games. Fuck okay, it, my shit went out. I'm gonna finish the story though. So look, so Sydney gonna put some fucking brie. Like, why the fuck Sydney went grocery shopping like a couple weeks ago and went to self checkout and somebody had left a, a wheel of brie on the fucking thing that she didn't have to pay for because it was already paid for apparently. So we got a wheel of brie, which was fucking dope for free. So um, I was like, I caught one mouse with um, with a piece of brie. And that mouse 
we we drowned them. I'm gonna tell you right now. I put them in a bag with some water and I and I let them I let them be dead. I'm sorry, but I didn't know what else to do. Like he was stuck on there, good as fuck. Uh, the next nigga, I'll tell you this. We put some brie on two traps and we seen a mouse just swerve and just be like, fuck that. And so we were like, God damn, that's crazy. So Sydney was really frustrated and didn't tell me that she had decided to put on a new trap with a piece of birthday cake on it. And we woke up in the middle of the morning to screams, little screams. And we were like looking at each other in bed like, what the fuck? And she's like, what the fuck? What up, Nephi? And we're both like, what the fuck's going on? And so when she gets up and she looks, she's like, bitch. And I was like, what? And she's like, bitch. And I was like, what? And I get up and I look, bitch, we done caught three mice with a piece of birthday cake on the glue traps. And one of them is straight dead. The other one is big as the fuck. Like he is as big as two of the other two. And the littlest one is half stuck on the trap and trying to climb and drag these niggas away. And the fat nigga is pulling in the opposite direction. So they're just like going all over the kitchen. It is a crazy mess. We are like watching it all go down. And now that they see that we're awake, they're tripping the fuck out even more. Like they're angry, they're trip, they're wildin'. And I'm just like, oh my God, Sydney, what are we gonna do? And Sydney's like, I don't know, bitch. Why the fuck, when I start getting closer, the big one gonna turn around and gonna attack the little nigga trying to, trying to right, trying to run in the other direction. And the little nigga gonna attack him. Meanwhile, one of the other niggas is just dead. And then at one point, they both start attacking the dead nigga. And he's dead because it's clear that he climbed into the trap and then put his face down and his face got trapped in the oil, so he just died. So that was sad, rest in peace. But the big nigga and the little nigga, they was just dueling. They was fighting to the death, bitch. It was scary as fuck. So then why the fuck, you know, me and City decided we were gonna sweep them, you know, into a box and then bring the box outside. We were gonna do that, that was the plan. We get over to the fucking glue trap, bitch. Why the big one run the fuck off, bitch? Why the big one get free, bitch? And when and I see him again. And I and like I don't know what to do. It's like I'm not trying to really come up, run up on him and snatch his ass up. I don't I don't really want to interact like that, bitch. I'm scared to get fucking bit up. Good night, Asa. But basically, like catching mice is terrible and it sucks and I fucking hate it. Cause like they're alive, and I if I we get the other traps and they're dead, yes, but it's like, then I gotta still touch them, kind of. I don't know, this whole thing is stressing me the fuck out. Like, I really do not fuck with mice like that. I'm, like, mad disgusted. But I'm also, like, sad, because, like, he's kind of cute. Like, honestly, like, I'm looking at him, and I'm like, I'm like, you're adorable. But I know it's, like, bad for them to be all up in your life and shit like this. Can we see him? Hell no, bitch. That's nasty. Ratchet. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the mouse that's fucking chilling in my house right now. That's fucking... That's. I feel like uh, most people think that's nasty. I think he's a cute ass little mouse, honestly. But I done already murked... I murked three niggas already in this house. Like, three of his people already died. And he's not the fat one that I remember. He's littler than the fat nigga that got away. So I'm kind of tripping. Like, I'm like, damn, like, how many brothers does he have? You know, how many how many people are in his family? Ugh, it's distressing me to think about. But now we know birthday cake, you know, cake. That's what catches them like shit. Because there was three of them niggas. Like, three of them had a party. I just feel like one nigga had to go and tell the other two niggas. I don't think they all just rolled up three of them on it. So, I'm excited. Well, I feel like I'm going to put the rat poison into the cake. So they get stuck and they die. I feel like that's like the best way. Is I'll just mix the poison into the icing and bloop. Because I feel like well, I feel like that's the part of the best part of the cake anyway. But I feel kind of evil about that. Vampira, oh my god, I'm gagging for your contour, bitch. You look so sickening. And the metallic on the lipstick, dying. 
Listen, I have to go to sleep though because I have to work. Blah. But I will post this on YouTube. I love you. Bye. Move to cocaine. But trust and believe. These white folks be doing cocaine, bitch. A lot of them, bitch. A lot of them, bitch. <laughs> Just call me like, thank you. You are so sweet. I'm loving your baby hairs, bitch. I had to turn to the right to get that Abby, bitch. But you're giving me life. Exactly. Gucci Go and Lana is out here on crack. You know what I mean? Lana Del Rey is on crack, okay? So, as far as I'm concerned, you know what I mean? And yeah, and Lana is singing about it. Lana is like the one exception. But the thing is, though, the bitch got a voice that only people on heroin will really want to hear. And young ass sad girls who are also sad that their niggas left them. You know what I mean? Or, or sad that a nigga don't want to, I don't know, split a fucking fish sandwich at Coney Island. I don't fucking know. But I just feel like Lana Del Rey's music, it just sounds sad. It sounds like the music of a ghost of a heroin addict. So I don't know why people are out here just surprised. It's like you can hear it in Lana's voice, you know. when she's singing like, I don't know what's next. Heroin. You know what I mean? Come on. <clears throat> Anyways, side motherfucking bar. I don't have a goddamn lighter. So, burb. Damn, my brows are on a million. Hi, how are you? I miss you. Oh, I don't think it's like really talking to me with my like sideways legs. Yes! Cute. Of course, this would be the key. I miss y'all too. What a treat. I'm so excited to be here. Hi. Negro Effect. And was that you, bitch? Was that you on YouTube? I was like, look, let me get my coins up because I ain't post no videos this month, bitch. And honestly, I know that my fucking Google money, my Google check, that shit about to be low. So I was like, let me post this little messy mess of uh, Miss uh, from Kim Kardashian. Because I feel like every day this bitch trying to get blacker and blacker. Trying to just, you know, turn herself more for ass into some black ass shit. And it's just not working, bitch. Because honestly, can I tell y'all the first time I realized it? The bitch is talking about Soul Food Saturdays. Nigga, everybody know we do Soul Food on Sunday. Who the fuck just do Soul Food on Saturday, bitch? Oh, random ass, extra random bitch. Yeah, no, I'm not getting no big Google check, bitch. I'm getting a motherfucking little ass Google check. But it's still... A check nonetheless, you know. But exact fuck you, I'm great. Yes, bitch, it be the same meal, it be the same struggle macaroni, it be the same struggle greens, and it be some chicken. Hold on. I had to do it the old way, bitch. I'm back, bitch, I'm back. But look, let's let's get it poppin' then. I'm about to play the little Kim Kardashian uh, mixtape that she just put out trying to expose people. But sidebar, before I play this shit. <laughs> I know you don't give a fuck. <laughs> ah. Bitch, my stove used to be electric. Fucking around with y'all, I'm gonna have to relight it. It's not a real mixtape, baby. I'm talking about these Snapchats from the internet. About is just you as a person and as a friend. I want things that make me you feel good. I don't want to do rap that makes people feel. Um, I don't.
don't want to do rap that makes people feel bad. That's interesting. That's interesting, Kanye. And what a very weird, weird, weird way of talking. Yeah, I mean, what else would have aligned better than talking to her and talking to you either way? Here's the shit that got me fucked up, though. Taylor Swift, though. Why she sound fake, though? She sound facetious as fuck. She don't even sound like she really want to say yes. Like, it sounds like she's not even being serious. Like, when she's explaining, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Because I know she's trying to be on some full respectability, you know? Trying to seem like she got her life right after everybody found out she was doing cocaine. But, mama, I don't know. It's not in the cards. Like, if I was Selena, I would really just go to an island. Really, I will go to the island, you know what I mean, get my tan on, eat some snacks, you know. I would really relax my puss. That's what I would do, but I'm not that bitch, so I'm over here, so I'm going to move on, you know what I mean. I really don't have nothing to say about Selena. Girl, yeah, Selena is out here just doing all types of things, bitch. Look at the information. The internet is not free. But there's a, lot, there's a lot of sites out there that do not charge you for information. That's a blessing. So, anyways, child, everybody does drugs. Most people do drugs. Some people, they drugs is legal. Some people, they drugs is not. So, and some people be hiding. <laughs> Please. There's no there's nowhere to hide if you're famous. Honestly, like some people sing about them doing coke. Like when you a pop singer, you can't just falsetto. I'm about to smoke a blunt with a little bit of coke inside. You know what I mean? A bitch can't sing that out loud on a fucking album. That's not what a bitch is gonna tell you. Working for Disney, there's not gonna be a little song. About it, you know what I mean? But a nigga's like, oh, got that white girl, got my crack pipe. It's like, okay, bland. <laughs> but real talk, there's no way to like get, like, you know, there's no fucking white girl group. I have a question. I have a question. If we're calling it fried chicken, that means that the chicken must be coated with something to be fried, right? That's what I thought. But every time I see her chicken, I'm seeing the meat exposed. I'm never seeing any motherfucking skin. So I'm just wondering what the fuck she's doing with the chicken. How she massaging it. You know how white people talk about some massaged greens. Like I feel like she just be massaging it with a little bit of seasoning. I don't think she got to like, you know, my mama had like a fucking bag and she was shaking the shit. It wasn't no shaking bake. It was just a little bit of flour, a little bit of some other shit. Ra, you know what I mean? But I just don't know what she's doing. There's no batter on her chicken, bitch. I really don't like this angle because it's not showing all my hair and it's irking me. I feel like if I, if you can't see all the hair, what's the point of it? You know what I mean? If you can only see 15% of the yaki, there's no point. But anyways, I'm about to give myself a sickening bun. Give me, give me one second. Let, let me get to my sickening bun before I go into roast. I know, I, you know, I just put my brows on before I came to see y'all. So they're looking brand new for a reason. Like, this was planned. I really think she do just be dropping the chicken in the, in the grease, bitch. I don't think she cares. Bitch, I was laughing like shit when I saw Taylor getting dragged. I was laughing like shit. I was like, Taylor. Taylor. What's going on, Taylor? Because you know what? Honestly, what kind of name is Taylor first? But it's like, Taylor. What you do? I know, Selena. Selena out here just saying all types of things. And I feel bad for Selena, little Capricorn ass. 